Hi, in this video, I'll talk about virtual network pairing. So what exactly is a virtual network pairing? So whenever two independent virtual network seamlessly connect and talk to each other, we call that process as a virtual network pairing. So Azure supports two type of virtual network pairing. One is the virtual network when uh, you are in the same region and another in the global network when the regions are different. So if you see in this particular diagram, I have two virtual networks, VNet1 and VNet2 and in those virtual network, I have a virtual machines and I have connected, I have created a pairing between these two virtual network. So the pairing is bi-directional. So from VM1 to VM2. So using this pairing, the VM1 and VM2 will talk to each other. And there's also a subnet. Uh, one important thing with respect to subnet, subnet of the virtual network shouldn't be overlap with each other. So if uh, let's say if you are going to use the same subnet in VNet1 and VNet2, then you cannot create the pairing. So you need to have a different subnets. So that's another important thing with respect to virtual network pairing. So quickly talk about the benefits which we will be getting. So the first and foremost important thing is uh, low latency. So when the two networks are connected, when their communication happens, when the file transfer happens, the latency is very low and the high bandwidth you will get when the two connection, when the two networks are connected. So the communication happens between the two different virtual networks. There is no downtime. The important thing is whenever you're going to create a virtual network pairing, there is no downtime in that. So you can seamlessly create the virtual network pairing and start communication. And before that, one last important thing, what are the things we have to take care? We have to ensure the subnet has different address in both the virtual networks. And we have to enable ICMP in the network security group to, if you want to verify with the ping. And another thing we have to run this command. Uh, if you are using IPv4, then this particular command, or if you're using IPv6, then this particular card in the partial so that the ping will return the echo. I'm going to portal.azure.com. So first let me go to and create the first virtual machine. And while creating the virtual machine itself, I'll create the VNet. And to create the virtual machine, I need to first create the resource group. So I'll say resource group Rohit. VNet1 and VM1 and region I will say East US2 security type standard image I'll go with the Windows 10 size is also okay I'll enter the credentials and port I will select the RDP only and confirm next networking. Now in the virtual network, it will automatically create with this particular name. And if you want to change, you can click on create new. So I'm okay with that and click okay. And subnet also I'm okay. In the VM2, we will change the subnet and all the things looks good. Just click on review plus create Then click on create. So deployment is in progress. So what I will do, I'll go and create the VM2 also. And while creating the VM2, I'll create the virtual network too. So click on create, click on virtual machine. And first I will create the resource group. So I'll say resource group Rohit VNet2. Okay. And I'll just name it as VM2 region. I will select as West US2. So for first VM, the region is East US2 and all the other things looks good. I just need to enter the credentials. Port I will select just RDP. I'll click on confirm disk also looks good. Now again, the virtual network it is going to create with this particular name. And if you want, you can again go here and change that. I'm okay with that. Now the only thing which I want to change is the address range. So, so the address, I will change it to three. This is just to ensure the both the machine does not have the overlapping addresses. If I change the address range, I need to enter the subnet also. So for subnet 10.3.0.0 slash 24, click OK. And other, all the other things looks good. Click on review plus create. Then you need to click on create.
so vm2 is created so let me click on go to resource and here you can see the public ip address which is created along with the vm creation the virtual network and this is a public ip address and the private ip address is also shown here now i'll click on the virtual network and please note this is the network of second vm and under that i will go to the pairings and here i'll click on add first i have to give the name from 2 to 1 so i'll say vnet pairing 2 to 1 and i'll keep other options as same then i'll give the name as vnet pairing 1 to 2 and subscription is visual studio and since right now i'm into the second virtual network so i have to select the first so this is the first virtual network and everything looks good i'll click on add and it is going to create the virtual network pairing from 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 so the pairing is completed and if i go to first network and if i click on the pairings you can see here virtual network pairing from 1 to 2 so we are good here after the pairing is completed we have to go to the resource group and under the resource group i have to select the network security group and there i have to go to the inbound security rules basically i have to enable the icmp so that the ping will work to see if both the network are able to communicate to each other so let me click on add and here i'll select the protocol as icmp and i'll keep as star for the source and the destination port ranges and i will name it as icmp and click on add so this i am created in the virtual network one so in the resource group one and the same thing i'll do i'll go and create in the second resource group so select the security groups select the inbound security rules click on add select icmp and i'll say icmp and click on add so we are good here next we will go and connect to the virtual machines now to connect to the virtual machine let me go to the resource group let me go to the vm click on connect click on rdp download the rdp file open that you need to enter the credentials now i am able to connect to the vm2 so what i will do i'll go and similarly try to connect to the vm1 also so i'll go to the vm1 i'll click on connect click on rdp click on download rdp and i'll open that and i'll enter the credentials now the first thing is we have to run the command so that the ping should echo back and i'll go to the partial and i'll run it as an administrator mode and i'll paste the command press enter and yes and similarly i'll go into the other vm and in another vm also I'll go to the partial I'll paste the command here enter okay I have not opened it as a administrator mode right click run as administrator yes okay cool so we have executed the command in the both the VMs now I'll open the CMD here and i'll say ip config now the ip of this particular machine is 10.3.0.4 and i'll go to the another vm and what i will do i'll open both of these side by side here cmd and i'll say ping yes, no uh, first i'll say ip config and the ip is 10.1.0.4 and from this machine i'll try to ping the private ip address please note this 10.3.0.4 is a private ip address and i'm going to ping to that and if you see the particular machine is returning uh, the request and similarly i'll do it from the another machine 
10.1.0.4 dot one dot zero dot four. Ah, yes. The other machine is also returning. Now, one important thing which we can do here is in the VM one, I'll click on the RDP and I have I'll give the IP address here of VM two. And we know that IP address is ten dot three dot zero dot four. And here I need to give the username of VM two, and we know that it is and click on yes. And the moment it will connect, it will disconnect from here. And if you see. It is disconnected and it is connected inside this VM. If you see, so these are the two machines. One is the VM one and one is the VM two. So we have connected with on the VM two with the private IP address. Cool. So this is how the two VMs can communicate with each other. So in the end, I'll say if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. Thank you.